Hey, it's Christy Z from Zeal Studio and Zeal Vintage on Etsy. And I'm starving. It's been a long day and I'm just gonna cook myself one of my favorite go-to meals, which is super healthy, inexpensive, and fairly quick. It cooks in about 25 minutes. Thanks so much for joining. So let's get going on this recipe. What you'll need is some cauliflower. Now you can buy some that is already separated from the head. I just happened to buy this whole one. I think it was $4.99. Um, this is actually probably several servings. I would say at least two meals and some snacks. So that's a really good buy. You will also need some Frank's Red Hot, which I just realized I'm totally almost out of, as you can see, but I am gonna sub in some Sriracha and that should be just fine. You will also need some butter for your sauce. And for our batter, um, so we're going to make, I didn't even tell you what we're gonna make. <laughs> so we're making some um, buffalo hot wing, cauliflower hot wings. And then I'm going to make a side dish, which is some corn, fresh corn salad with peaches and cream corn and it's kind of like a Mexican corn salad, um, but it's not grilled, it just comes right off the cob. Uh, super fresh corn salad, which is a really good uh, side dish for this. I'm just gonna cut some of this uh, probably in half or a quarter and wash it and get started cutting it up. So I'm basically just gonna cut off the amount of cauliflower that I need and then we'll just put the rest in the fridge. Now this actually goes a long way. And keep in mind too, you don't wanna cut your florets too small. Um, you want them big enough to be about two bites each. So I'm gonna start cutting it out of there. There we go. Okay. There we go. I'm just gonna cut some chunks off and then I'm gonna wash them and cut them a bit further. Okay, that should be good. All right, now this, actually this amount will probably make like two meals for someone like myself. Um, and it's just basically two chunks. Why is it not focusing? There we go, okay. And we're going to put equal parts of flour and water and spices. I wish I had a little more red hot sauce, but that is okay. It's still going to be good. I will sub in some of the sriracha. All right, so we do need some garlic. We need some onion powder. We've got our onion powder. We've got our giant thing of garlic. And any other spices you want to put in, I'll probably put some black pepper and some salt. And I'm going to use about a half a cup of flour and a half a cup of water. So 
I have a quarter cup here. Whoops. I'm gonna put a quarter cup and another quarter cup. So that's half a cup, and then if I need more, I can just grab some more. All right, actually I might put a little bit of cornstarch too cornstarch will make it nice and light and I'm just gonna whoops out of oops it's about uh, two tablespoons of cornstarch a little bit of onion powder so maybe a half a teaspoon I'm just going by smell uh oh I got a cat sneezing over there okay so we want a bit of garlic I don't want too much garlic because I don't want to overpower it um, I'm also going to put in, actually I'll put that in the sauce, a little bit of onion powder. Mmm, it smells good already. So hungry, I cannot wait to eat these. Now do they taste like wings? Yeah, they kind of taste like wings. Like, obviously the texture is a little bit different, and again the key I think is to cutting it up to the right size, but they are so tasty, even if they don't obviously taste exactly like chicken. Um, <clears throat> and they're super healthy. Um, and they're pretty fast as well. So we're going to put quite a bit of salt because we don't want it to be bland. And then get our pepper in there. And then we're going to get our water. Now our batter that we're going to dip them in is going to be like kind of like a pancake batter. <clears throat> Bit of pepper in there. All right, because we don't want it bland, right? Oh, I'm gonna sneeze from the pepper. Ooh. Okay. Now you could also use milk. I'm just gonna use water. Uh oh. Phew! <laughs> oh my goodness! Told you. <laughs> it's the pepper. Okay, I'm gonna get some water in there. I'm going to start with a quarter and see if that is going to work for me. And if I need it more, I'm going to, yeah, I'm definitely going to add some more. Okay. So this is basically like a half flour, half water ratio, I think, um, for the batter. There we go. And we're getting, we're gonna need a little more water, obviously. Okay, never mind. Okay, so that was a half a cup of flour and three quarters of a cup of water. There we go. Whoops, I'm just getting kind of sloppy. Here we go. And we're just gonna stir that until it's not super lumpy. And I did put two tablespoons of cornstarch in the batter. Now I'm going to line my pan with some baking parchment. You can also use a sill pot if you have a sill pot or something like that. Okay, we've got our batter. That's good. Just kind of like a pancake batter. Not too thick, but not too thin. So you do want it to stick. Okay, and we're going to get some parchment just makes it easier so they don't stick to the pan and we're gonna dip and put them on our As you can see, I have just lined my pan with some parchment over here. Oh, okay. Okay, oven's ready, let's go. Dip them and put them on. And we're gonna bake them for about 25 minutes. And while that's going, I'm gonna do the salad. 
and she chew at a time because I'm in a hurry because I'm hungry. Here we go. Make sure you get it coated really well in there. Make sure you dab off the excess or just shake off the excess. Okay, I'm gonna be really messy. That's okay, that's what cooking is for. Okay, get them in, get them out. I'm gonna pop them in the oven at 425 for 25 minutes to 30 minutes, depending on how hot your oven is. Okay, shake off the excess because we don't want too much excess. Okay, going really fast. I need my beverage. Dehydration, it's not pretty. Okay, here we go. Coming along. Looks like it made just enough batter too. Okay. I'm not sure if it's going to get stuck in the I'm not trying to pull it but what can you do? You can mess a little bit and do, that's fine. <clears throat> so the coating. So messy, it's kind of fun though. All right. Get these in the oven right quick and yeah that's just enough of the batter just super easy you can use milk you can use water you can use whatever you want on there okay the fork is in the way and then we're going to start our salad all right, I'm gonna pop these in the oven. And then we're gonna start the salad. All right, in you go, buddy. Ooh. 25 minutes on the timer. Voila, okay. Okay, so for our salad, we are going to need some corn. I am using fresh corn. We're going to take it off the cob. And it's pretty shut. It's sweet corn, um, which generally means it has like lighter and darker kernels. We call it like peaches and cream corn. So I'm just going to use two of these for the salad, which is about two or three portions. And a little goes a long way. Um, so I think for this it was maybe $5.99 for four cobs. Um, this will actually make like four meals as well as the cauliflower. So yeah, um, this meal is actually super inexpensive. And I'm gonna show you how to get the corn off the cob. Okay, so the first thing we do is we need our corn. So we're gonna put our corn in a bowl. Make sure we have all the threads off. And, oops, got my cilantro paste. I'm using a cilantro paste instead of fresh cilantro. And I'm also gonna get my big ass knife. Okay, whoops, geez, there's cauliflower all over. Okay, I got my big ass knife. I got my corn in the bowl. And let me just angle this up here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to very gently Press the knife in a downward motion at the side while it's in the bowl. There you go. Whoops, it's a bit loud, but there you go. And then just go around your cob, cut off your kernels. You may get a little, a little bit of juice in the eye, but that's okay. It's not like lemon juice. And then we're just going to go around the cob like that. There we go. And again, I'm just going to show you the action here on the side. There, super easy. Now I know a lot of people do have trouble getting the kernels out. I just find the bowl way is like, it's the easiest way for me anyways. And I love making this corn salad. It's so refreshing and nice and cold in the summertime. It's 
little cold side dish. You could also serve this with some cut up celery and ranch dip. Um, there we go. Okay, we got one. Let's do the other one. Then we're gonna cut up our other ingredients for the salad. And again, I'm just going down the side of the corn with the knife. down this side. Try and keep it straight. I'm going to put my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. Okay. Just keep your fingers away from the blade. That's the best piece of advice I've got. Okay. And we've almost got all our corn. There we go. See, that took me less than five minutes to get that corn off there. There's no need to buy special devices or whatever. Just use a really large knife and you are good. Okay. Yes. There we go. Okay, and then we only have a couple more ingredients. See, we got all our corn off there. Super easy. Okay, need a tiny bit of red pepper and a little bit of onion. Normally I would use a red onion. They did not have any red onions uh, that day, so I just got, so I'm just gonna probably use a couple, uh, maybe like four tablespoons of onion and the same of the red pepper. There we go, we don't want too much of that, just a little bit. Can save this for another meal. Ditto with the onion. We're just going to cut off a tiny bit. We don't want a lot of raw onion. Just a little bit. And I'm going to get rid of these. Okay, so we're just going to dice up our onions super, super thin. small pieces because we don't want big chunks of onion. We want it very minced. So basically mince it as you go. The red onion is really nice but this one will do just fine if we don't have the red onion. That is all good. And we're just going to cut it up quite fine. There we go. We're just going to mince that up and we're going to put that into, whoops, got some skin in there. Put that in with our corn. Now that's quite a bit. I think I'm going to go for a little bit less. Okay, yeah, so it's about four tablespoons. I'm just going to. such an easy side dish. It's so good to bring to like a picnic or like a potluck, especially in the summertime. It's cool. It's refreshing. Okay, so we've got our corn. We've got our onion. We've got our minced red pepper. Um, and now we're going to make our dressing. Um, now, normally I would use a sesame oil, which I don't have, which is fine. Um, well, you could use any kind of oil, coconut, avocado is good. I also have that. Um, you don't want too much oil though. So two tablespoons of your favorite type of oil. I'm just using olive. I could have used avocado, coconut, whatever kind of oil you prefer. Um, I do like the sesame oil as well because it tastes really nice. Now I'm also going to use two tablespoons of this lime juice which is just the pre-reconstituted um, whatever. Just because have you ever tried to squeeze a lime? I'm telling you, it is really hard and you hardly get any juice. So I'm basically just gonna squirt like one, two, 
There we go. Then I'm going to squirt in a little bit of cilantro paste. Boop. About a tablespoon of cilantro paste. And a little bit of salt. Maybe about a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. A little bit of pepper. Okay, we've got 15 minutes left on the wings. Then we have to make our wing sauce. Okay, so a little bit of pepper. So we've got our oil, our lime juice, cilantro, salt, and pepper. And let's see. Um, is there anything else? I don't think so. I think that's good. It's super, super simple. We're just going to mix that together with a fork. I'm gonna mix our sauce together. Super easy. And we're just gonna mix it together like so. This will work. All right, and then we're gonna dress our salad. Just pour this right on in there, get it all out. in there. I guess you get it in there and then we're just going to stir and honestly I think I might add a little bit more salt and a touch more cilantro. I think that's what we need. There we go. It's looking good though. I'm going to taste it first and see if I need more salt. Okay we're looking good. Very fresh. Now, if you don't have red pepper, you could use tomato. You could literally put whatever you want. This is just sort of kind of how I like to do it, and it's super simple. It doesn't have a lot of ingredients. All right, I'm going to taste it and see if I need more salt. Let's give it a try. Mmm. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God, that is so good. I don't think it needs any more salt. Mm. Mm. Okay, we're going to cover that up. We're going to put it in the fridge. And as you can see, I have a weird kind of oven where steam comes out. Um, it's kind of an older oven. <laughs> I have to say, it did freak me out when this first started happening. Be assured that is just steam. Um, I am going to turn my fan off, though. Mm. I'm going to try some of this... Uh, Oh my god, that's good. Mmm. Mmm. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. Oop, there's a piece I forgot. It's okay, we'll put this in the snack bag for later. Okay, so for our wing sauce, we're going to do a traditional wing sauce. Although, like I said, normally I would use mostly Frank's Red Hot, but I'm almost out. So I'm going to sub in some of our rooster sauce or sriracha, which because it's also a hot sauce. It's just a little thicker. For our sauce, I'm going to add ooh, about, I don't know, a knob of butter, a large knob of butter. Does that make sense? I'm also going to turn my thing on. Here, I want a little more butter. About two tablespoons of butter, I would say. Quite a large knob of butter in our pan. Again, this is like how I would normally make a hot wing sauce. Oh my gosh, there's cauliflower all over here. Oh, check of the cauliflower. Ooh. Ta-da! Ooh, a little cat hair. That's okay, it's just me eating. This is a great meal, especially if you're um, single or you're just on your own for the night because like I said, there's probably enough just in that one batch for like two meals, which is awesome because then, you know, you can have it for a snack at midnight, you can have it for lunch the next day. I love not having to cook the next day. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna use the rest of this, which looks like about maybe 
I don't know, two tablespoons. Which I wish there was a little bit more. I'm gonna shake it all out of there. Get out of there. Get all that hot sauce out. Okay. And you know, if you don't like hot sauce, you can do a really yummy barbecue sauce. Um, just use your favorite barbecue sauce. Um, you could even do butter, lemon, pepper on them if you're not a big fan of barbecue or hot sauce. You can really put whatever kind of sauce you like on these wings. Just like any chicken wing. Um, yeah. Okay, so we're going to get some sriracha. I'm literally just going to squirt a couple of things of sriracha in there. There we go. Woo! I'm sweating just cooking over this. Oh my gosh. I'm going to get my hair up too. Woo! My goodness. Yeah, it's so funny that my oven has that steam function. It just lets out the extra steam so that stuff gets more crispy, which in the end is kind of a good thing. Okay, we need a little more, a little more sriracha. Here we go. Okay. And I'm also gonna add a tiny bit of parsley, just some dried parsley in there. There we go, and turn it down to minimum. And there you go, our sauce is ready. Super easy. The wings are gonna be out in almost five minutes. Okay, I'm gonna turn that off. You just basically wanna heat the butter enough so that it melts and kind of gels in with your hot sauce. There we go. Mm-hmm. All right, get my beverage ready. Are supposed to flip them halfway, and I totally forgot that part. That's okay. Here we go. I'll just give them a quick flip right now for the last five. Flip them. Whoops! Jesus. Scare myself. All right, so I'm just gonna quickly flip them. Yeah, we got some good browning on one side, anyways. We'll go back for the last five minutes on the other side. You've got to put the parchment paper though. I'm telling you, it makes a huge. Don't try and make them without the parchment because they will be sticky AF. Okay, here we go. Just get them all turned over for like the last five. Boop. We're getting some color on that side. Ooh, they're almost ready. Oh my god, you guys are so hungry. I'm so excited to eat Charvis. Well, I know it's gonna be good because, as I said, it's one of my go-tos. So I'm so happy to share this with you guys. I hope you like it. Make sure you let me know in the comments if you like this meal. Um, you know if you had any questions I just think it's so super easy healthy yummy and I definitely like spicy wings so you know oh ta-da all right let's sauce these babies up and get going Woo! Okay, we're gonna pop them in the sauce, give them a nice little bath in the sauce. I had a couple that are stuck together, because my batter was stuck together. There we go. We're gonna sauce it up, sauce it. Yes, yes. Jump in that pool of goodness. Ooh, it's so spicy, like it's making me sweat just downing over it. <laughs> okay, I do have a couple stuck together. Um, and I, you know, I find adding that little bit of the cornstarch definitely makes the, it makes the batter turn out a bit more crispy, which is, I really like that texture, so. Um, okay, I'm gonna get all these guys in, in the pan here. So I'm gonna have to do two batches. Ooh. Oh 
my goodness, someone's sneezing. Okay, we got too much in the pan. I know, Bubba. Woo! Get them all coated nicely. I think we just had just enough sauce actually. Okay, let's get this guy in here. This guy needs some sauce. He's like, sauce me up, mama. Sauce me up. Yum, yum, yum. Oh my god, you guys, I am seriously freaking sweating because of the heat coming off the sauce right now. It is awesome it's literally awesome sauce okay whoo i'm sweating i'm sweating if you could see i'm literally sweating all right let's get all these bad boys coated got one more to squeeze in here okay i should have used the big pan that was my bad whoop we got a runner okay there we go all right, I'm gonna plate this up, give you a look at my plate of food, and I hope you try this recipe. I hope you try it, I hope you enjoy it, and let me know what you think in the comments. And thanks so much for joining me. Don't forget to, uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe if you'd like more videos, and also let me know if you'd like more cooking videos. Cooking is definitely something I love, 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 love to do. All right, let's plate it up. Get her going. Oh my God, I'm so excited to eat this, you guys. So good, so good, so good for my tummy, yes. And I do have a little bit of like, sort of like a ranch. It's more like a dill than a ranch. Oh yeah, these are hot and spicy. Especially with that extra sriracha. I'm gonna have six for now and then that should be plenty. Okay, my chicken wings, my spicy buffalo wings. Spicy buffalo cauliflower chicken wings. Yum, yum. Okay, girl, I'm so excited for this. Okay, I don't know if that's six, but I'm gonna put one more. One more, woo, spicy. Dig in, there's our spicy cauliflower buffalo chicken wings and our super yummy fresh corn salad and a little bit of ranch and then I have a green tea. Yum, I can't wait to dig in you guys. I hope you like this video. Let me know if you'd like more cooking videos and don't forget to hit subscribe. I really appreciate your support. It really helps out more than I can say. I really appreciate you and want to give you a big old hug. But I'm going to dive into this because I'm starving. Thanks, you guys. Thanks for joining me in my tiny kitchen. And I hope you have yourself a very tasty rest of the week. Cheers. I'm sweating already from these, holy cow. They're so good though, oh my god. But I'm, can you see, like I'm, I'm sweating. Woo, spicy, but so good. Woo. I'm watching uh, Bling Empire, have you ever seen that? It's...
Ooh. A little bit of ranch. Ooh. This is your life lesson that you stop making excuses. Sure Amen, sister. Stop making excuses for other people. Your history was broken. You make yourself happy. Your relationship was broken, but that doesn't mean you're broken. So can you see this mm. is about you learning to be honest with yourself? Mm. Do you hear that? I want you to be more grounded in your feelings and in your body so that you don't repeat the same mistakes. Yeah. If you can't Good fit, advice. You cannot change. In the past, I've always lost relationships that define me, but now I want to mm. do things differently. I'm mm. putting all my energy mm. and time and emotions into helping somebody else. I should be helping myself and look what that is look so at good. The problems I have. And, you know, okay. and just trying to be a better version of myself. If you have strong feelings, let them out. Even if you have to, you know, set your hair on fire and run around the block screaming. Uh, no, don't you set know, your hair on fire, girl. What the fuck is she I telling her to do? Fairly now, and I definitely, uh, did a know, therapist just tell a girl to set her hair on fire? So what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Excuse me? Excuse me? Isn't that special? special? <laughs> Ooh. <sighs> Holy cow, I am, I got glitter on me too, but oh my God, I am like sweating. You're so freaking good though. You are really good. Mm. I know, I know. Mm. 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 Oh, because you're normally a man whore? <laughs> Sorry. Oh my God, these almost taste better than wings. He is such a gossip. Anymore. 